I'm here just west of White Cloud, Michigan. There's a little parking lot off of M20. And this is the trailhead for a section of the North Country Trail. And this is where the trail starts. About 30 seconds into the trail and uh, there's a little trail register place to sign in. This trail gets used pretty regularly it looks like. There was somebody here yesterday and the day before Uh, two days ago was a Saturday. There were several people on the trail on Saturday. Today's a Monday, and I'll be the first, so I'll sign in here. So far the trail is well marked, pretty well beaten into the ground, and so it's easy to follow. I just saw a deer go leaping past in the distance. There's lots of uh, bushes with white flowers on them. Not sure what they are. But it's the time of year when things start to bloom. Things are starting to green up. Here's a better example of the white blooms I've been seeing. Just crossing a gravel road. that comes in off of M20 apparently. Goes into a pine forest. So far there haven't been any pines, but this looks like a looks like an area of mixed woods. Okay, now I'm completely surrounded by pine trees. This is really my favorite type of wooded area to hike through. Nice soft pine needles under my feet. Just passed over three or four little uh, board bridges that really don't have any flowing water under them. I think they're just to keep you out of the mud because the ground is kind of kind of muddy around here. There's some stagnant pools of water, and it must be kind of a low area. So thanks to whoever put those there. Just crossing over a gravel road again. Uh, it's listed on my map as Baseline Road. Uh, I see a stop sign up ahead and it looks like there's a, a farm on the other side of that road. But my trail continues over here.
Well, this is Baseline Road and there's some people that live here. But up on the other side of the road, I see my NCT sign, so that's where the trail continues. No more pine trees on this part of the trail. Somebody's actively maintaining this section of the trail because there's freshly cut trees that had uh, apparently fallen over the trail They've been cleared out of the way. Well, as soon as I said no more pine trees, now I'm going down a very straight stretch that goes between two, two rows of pine trees. These must be part of a plantation because they're all in nice straight rows. Well, I just came to some water. It's a nice little creek which my map says is Rattlesnake Creek. The water is flowing and looks pretty nice and clear. If I needed water, I could filter this and I, I wouldn't have a problem drinking it. There's a long dead birch tree laying on the ground here. Must have been a big one. It goes off into the distance there. Whenever I find birch trees like this, I always gather some bark for my fire starting purposes. So I'll, I'll pick up a few pieces while I'm here. While I was gathering my birch bark, I just looked down in the ground and there's a, a good sized blue snake right there, which I assume is a blue racer. And he's just kind of watching me. And I really don't want to bother him, so I'm going to step over to the other side of the log. Because I know these, these things are not poisonous, but they probably can bite, so I'll stay away from him. Well, I see a wooden bridge up ahead. So the trail crosses the creek at this point. It's a pretty nice bridge. picture of the creek and some wetlands off in the distance. The sun's probably right in the camera lens so I don't know how well that's going to be visible later. Things are really nice and green right around the creek here. This is a, a nice low area with, 
which contains the moisture. And so the trail continues. Here's that upstream area from a different angle. All kinds of things growing up out of the water. And some really tall cattails from last year that are off in the distance. Really a pretty area. There's the bridge I just came across. Well, the trail continues to uh, roughly follow the creek in this section right here. And up ahead of me on the trail, I'm seeing a, a wooden walkway, so I guess the trail crosses back over the creek in another spot. Well, this is a long walkway on wood, which mainly takes you across some really muddy low ground. These wooden planks just keep going and going. Still haven't really crossed over the creek though. Now the wooden planks are running parallel with the creek. And I think I see it, the end to it up ahead. The creek is flowing right over there. Here I'm back on solid ground again. It's just a beautiful spring day here in the woods. Temperatures probably 50 to 55 degrees. Perfect for hiking. This is what spring is supposed to be like. Not the freezing cold, freezing rain that we've been having in Michigan. I think the good weather is finally here. Another hiker up ahead with a couple dogs. I came to a Y in the trail right here, and according to this sign here, there's a two-mile trail that goes to the White Cloud Campground, and it also says that I've come three miles from M20, so that's how far I've walked so far, and 0.7 miles to Echo Drive. So I'm going to stay on the North Country Trail, which goes this way, 
and now the trail is on a a bit of a rise almost looks like an old railroad right-of-way from a long time ago this is what they looked like they always built them up so we'll see what this turns into another wooden bridge up ahead So I guess the trail does cross over the creek at this point because uh, there is some water flowing underneath. Well, up ahead the creek widens out and it's flowing pretty fast and there's a guy that looks like he's fly fishing. And ahead of me is another wooden bridge. Well, this is a more substantial body of water. This isn't the little creek I was following earlier. I'm going to have to look on my map and see what this, what this river is. It's really nice. Beautiful spot. Just came to the remains of somebody's campfire. So this being a beautiful spot right near the river, uh, I guess people come in here and have campfires. The fisherman I talked to said that uh, he came in off a road that's less than a mile from here. so. I guess this spot isn't too hard to get to. I'm right on the edge of a, what I assume is going to be a cornfield here. Barbed wire fence. Oh, I see some, uh, some irrigation equipment off in the distance. Those big things that travel around in a circle and spray water on the ground. There's a couple of them over there. So maybe it isn't a cornfield. I'm not sure what they're growing here. I'll get back on the trail. Another shot of the, the irrigation equipment. It's been really dry here for the last month. They're really pouring the water on. Just came to a road here, which the post says is Echo Drive. Off to my right, there's some huge piece of equipment that's bulldozing something. I don't know what they're doing there, but it's making an awful lot of noise. There's a truck there, which I I think probably belongs to the fisherman that I passed. Now I just have to figure out where the trail goes from here. Well, according to my map, the trail actually follows the road for 
at least three quarters of a mile before it turns into a trail again. So I think that I'm going to turn around and start heading back. I've been walking for about an hour and 40 minutes. And this is my first hike of the year. So I'm not out to set any distance records for myself. I think I'll head back north on the trail, back to where I started. And uh, in a little bit, I'll find a nice lunch spot to take a rest and make some lunch. Well, now that I'm on my way, back heading north I see that this uh, river is labeled White River right here on this post. This is the bend in the river where I saw the fishermen before. Well, the trail here has the ground just covered with these little violet colored flowers, little wild flowers. Kind of hard to see until you get up close. That's what they look like. Well, I've been on the trail about two hours now and I'm kind of hungry because I didn't really have breakfast. I just had a granola bar this morning. So I'm looking around for a a good sitting log and a good place to have lunch. I think off in the distance there I see a place that might be good. So I'm going to head off the trail to where I see a downed tree. Well, I'm back to the spot where the trail branches and goes to the White Cloud campground. Uh, I'm still looking for a good spot to to have a little lunch fire in my little wood stove. The ground here is very dry and it's all leaf covered. And so I'm looking for a safe spot where I can set up my stove and have a very small fire without starting any wildfires or forest fires. I don't want to make a fire right in the middle of the leaves. So I'll keep looking. Well, I'm back on the long boardwalk and things are not as dry around here. So maybe I will find a lunch spot along here somewhere. I'm back to this wooden bridge that crosses the uh, what I think is Rattlestake Creek and there's a nice grassy area here where it's not all full of dried leaves and I think it's a safe spot to set up my little stove and I can also sit on the wooden bridge right there and rest so that's what I'm gonna do. Well I just finished my lunch 
Now I'm over here by the riverbank checking out these yellow flowers. There's the river right there, or the creek, I should say. There's lots of these yellow flowers around. Oops, sorry about my shadow. There's where I sat for lunch. That's where I had my little fire going. There's really not going to be a trace left when I leave. So I'm ready to head back down the trail. I just got back to the trail register post. And the parking area is just up ahead. So there's my car all by itself. Nobody else had signed in the trail register for today. <clears throat> but it was really a nice hike. I highly recommend this section of the North Country Trail. It's an easy hike. There's no uphill terrain. There's no bad areas to go through. and the trail is being maintained. So that's it for another day.